Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Leos. Leo, we're going to take a look at your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I might be picking up on. And I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Leos for their highest and greatest good. All right, so Leos, you're showing up as the lover's card, Gemini energy. All right, you're viewing your person as the Six of Cups in reverse. And you're viewing the connection as the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Your person is showing up as the Three of Wands. They're viewing you as the Sun. All right, and they're viewing the connection as the Ace of Cups. Okay, interesting. For some of you, um, this could be somebody brand new on the scene, somebody that you're crushing on or somebody who's crushing on you. Wow, what's going on between you? The Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, all right, and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so it does look like someone here can't quite move forward yet. Um, and it could be because your person is feeling a little stuck. Now, it could be that they're at a distance. Maybe some of you, this is an online connection or they're, you know, they work in a different city, state, or country. Yeah, and we have the Ten of Swords here. Mm. So it's possible some of you, there has been an ending with this person. But for a lot of you, I'm really feeling like this might be somebody new. Somebody here that, you know, you're just recently dealing with, going out with, crushing on. This person is ready and seeing a new cycle in love with you. I feel like my Leos, you're starting to feel like the weight is over here. You're moving towards your Ten of Pentacles, or at least I think that's what's happening here. Let's keep going. Let's see. So you're in the lover's card, very attracted to this person, most likely feel this person is a twin flame or a soulmate. Um, let's see. <clears throat> and, you know, this is the, the light attribute of Gemini energy, which is very, like, fun and playful, flirty, witty, communicative, focused, you know, versatile. So it feels like you're in a good energy. All right. And the Hermit card, Virgo Gemini energy. So you may have Virgo in your chart. You could be a Virgo Leo cusp. I feel, you know what? I feel my Leos, you've been spending time on your own. You've been healing. You've been up leveling. Um, you've been doing that self-care. I love, she's one of my favorite Hermit cards in all of my decks. Just, you know, give it, throwing herself a bubble bath there or sorry, drawing herself a bath, um, you know, doing, you know, doing what feels good for her, relaxing, taking good care of herself, being in good health is what I'm getting. So I feel like you're in a really positive energy here. Um, a lot of mercurial energy there, Virgo, Gemini, <clears throat> but it's all in the upright. So it's really nice energy. Six of cups in reverse. This is how you're viewing your person. So your person might be stuck on something in the past, like some sort of past decision that they made might be holding them back. It could be anything from, you know, debt. It could be, you know, a marriage that, you know, maybe they're going through a divorce or they're recently divorced. They may have taken a job overseas. There is something here that's blocking your person or that they need to let go of before you uh, can come together. And that's something you're very well aware of. Okay. And we see the death card, Scorpio energy, but you see this person is very focused, very intelligent, very brave, um, very intense, very sexy as well. But there's something here. There's some sort of ending here, something that they need to let go of before this relationship can transform. And I feel like my Leos, I think you're you know, you're cool with that. That's what I'm hearing because you're in this hermit energy where like you've got this, you're good on your own. You kind of have everything that you need. You're really attracted to this person. I think you're very inspired by them and by this relationship as well. Okay. But you know, there's something here blocking it. There's something that needs to be let go of. Your person needs to transform something. And so with the seven of pentacles in reverse, it's like you see this connection as what you've been waiting for. Okay. You see this connection as the six of pentacles, which is a beautiful soulmate energy. Um, it's an energy of, you know, of balance and reciprocity. 
All right, so let's see the seven of pentacles. And again, you're seeing this connection as something here needs to end before you two can be in balance. And we've got the two of wands. Yeah, energy. The two of wands energy. <clears throat> this is an interesting two of wands card because it's so magician-esque. So I'm picking up on really strong Virgo Gemini energy here. Again, some of you might have those elements in your chart or... <clears throat> or maybe your person does, or your Virgo Leo cusp. But I'm just seeing here with this two of wands, like you see this connection moving forward. There's so much powerful passion. And like I said, energy, it keeps coming out between you two. Um, and it feels like, you know, it feels like you're willing to, you're willing to hold space. I'm going to use that rather than wait. Um, you're willing to hold space to see where this goes. Your person, the three of wands in reverse is blocked from moving forward. Uh, because they need to let go of something. Again, repeating message. And we see the two of swords, but they're seeing clearly, I think they've already made the decision that they're going to make some sacrifices or make some big changes to come towards you, Leo. Some of you, like I said, it's a, it's a job that they're waiting to just finish up a contract to come towards you. For others of you, they may be moving. This person sees you as uh, the sun card in reverse. Um, so they, they definitely, this person spends a lot of time wondering about you. It's still the happiest card in the deck, but they know that this might have turned you upside down a little bit, Leo, maybe thrown a bit of monkey wrench, a monkey wrench in your plans as far as how things, you know, would go. Cause there's something that feels like slightly unconventional here about what's happening between the two of you. Again, they might be going through a divorce or needing to get a divorce or something like that. So they know that mm, this may have turned you upside down a little bit, but this still, they still see you in alignment here with the sun card, your Leo energy. They see you as very powerful and passionate and playful, um, charismatic. I mean, I, I feel they, all eyes are on you. I also feel, um, <clears throat> this person knows that you're slightly disappointed by, you know, things not being able to move forward, but they see you as the sun and the moon. So you are this person's <laughs> universe, basically. That's a, that's kind of funny that popped out, but this person is very, has very, very deep romantic feelings for you. This person may feel like you're hiding something, okay, or that like you're not telling them everything, but I'm not getting it in a suspicious way. I just feel like this person can't wait to find out more about you, to spend every day with you or to spend more time with you. Because for a lot of you, there's some sort of distance here. Like I said, different city, state, or country, or maybe even it's an online connection. So it's like this person just wants to, you know, continue peeling back those layers of their Leo, right? So the Ace of Cups tells me this person sees this as a beautiful blessing. Um, their heart chakra is open, absolutely, for this connection. Um, and we see the strength card in reverse, but they, they, they're building up strength and courage to have this new beginning with you to make this relationship work. And like I said, feels like it's going to require some sort of sacrifice on their part <clears throat> or maybe on yours or on both of yours. But it feels like, again, that for them, they're either leaving a connection, finalizing a divorce, changing jobs, moving, something like that. Now the 10 of pentacles tells me there's potential for longevity here. And the Six of Swords, but this person's a little bit stuck. But I do see that they're visualizing a future with you, Leo. This person, it feels like they're all in, to be honest. Um, it might be slow moving here with the Six of Wands. I'm sorry, with the Six of Swords. Okay, so it might be slow moving, but it does look like this person's ready to put the past behind them and move forward with you and have this beautiful new beginning, the Ace of Wands. It's like they're manifesting it. I, I feel you've also got somebody who's very action oriented here, Leo, somebody who is going to make things happen. It's like they're not just talking about it. Okay, with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Um, it, it, again, somebody here is a little bit stuck. It feels like it's your person stuck with some obligations, responsibilities, something that they've got to do. And we see the tower moment. Yeah. And you know, the tower, there's going to be a major, major shift in your love life here. And I'm actually reading with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. If you're starting to feel a little bit bored or like things aren't moving forward, there's about to be a major shocking, surprising shift. And it feels quite positive. Okay, but we see the three of wands in reverse. Some of you, this is something you may have always vowed to like never get into a long distance relationship or, you know, something like that. But I feel this has been shocking and sort of unavoidable for both of you. 
Okay, but we're not going to lie. Double three of three of wands in reverse indicates that there's definitely these blockages here. <clears throat> but it looks like your person is seeing clearly what they need to do. The decision has already been made that they're ending something to come towards you. All right, let's see what we need to know about your person. What do my Leos need to know about this person? All right, so yep, they're looking for stability and security. <clears throat> All right, endurance. They want this to go the distance and the snake, but there's competition. I don't, for a lot of you, I, like I said, it, and I've said it a million times in this reading already, it's not going to just be that maybe they're in another connection or there's a marriage or something here. For a lot of you, it's work or it's something, it's whatever is keeping them at a distance there, okay? And this person, I do feel they want to do things right. That's what I get. All right, um, Leo, you've got abundance coming your way. A lot of you, like I said, all eyes are on you. You're probably doing quite well for yourselves. What I'm seeing here is, you know, in that bathtub with the lover's energy, like you're in alignment, you're balanced, you're doing you, you've got it. You know, it's just a little bit of a waiting game here is what I'm feeling. And yeah, this is, there. there's going to be some sort of transformation, maybe some shocking news coming your way. Okay. We do have stabbed in the back, but I'm not really reading that at all. Like I feel like there's some shocking good news. Some of you might also independently get a raise or get a promotion, um, some sort of money coming your way. Like, so just beware. It might be a good time to, you know, grab us, grab a scratch off or two. <laughs> all right. But I actually more so than anything, I just feel like this is going to be surprisingly an abundant relationship and things are definitely moving in your favor. That's the energy I'm getting off of these cards. Um, but it, it, it's coming after a period of waiting. It's coming after a period of waiting after a period of patience. So this person, what they want you to know is thank you. I appreciate your faithfulness, compassion, and that you hung in there with me. Boom. There it is. All right. And we all say, we see have faith. Yep. Have faith. There are steps to making this happen. Just know what is meant to be will not pass us by. Yeah, I, I, this is just your person. I love that that's what they're telling you because it's confirmation of this reading and the messages that have come through already. And we have promises. I can't tell you when, I can't tell you how, but I can assure you I will. Yeah, so this person definitely, they're dedicated. They're ready. They're in there. They're in it. They're in it for the long haul. All right, let's see what this person loves about my Leos. Let's see what does this person love about my Leos. Mm, damsel, beautiful. So th that you understand the nature of healthy romance and inspires you to rely on yourself. So again, repeating messages. They love that you're okay on your own holding space. Again, and you're not on your own. It looks like this person's really in it with you, but I, I just feel for I'm connecting with those of you who are at a distance or the re relationship currently blocked. Now, anything they would like my Leos to improve or that they don't like, I know these could be tough love messages. We'll see. Okay. And we get guide in reverse. So places financial gain and control over imparting spiritual insight. So I don't necessarily get that. I do feel like this person, um, maybe, um, you know, I, I don't think that they, maybe you're placing financial gain and control over other things. So maybe you're really, really focused on your career and finances. I'm not really getting that that's the problem. I kind of feel like this person just worries about you overdoing it, Leo, like more than anything. Like some of you might be working like one or two jobs. Maybe you're working and studying at this time or something. So I'm not really getting that this person feels like you're materialistic or anything like that. I feel like they're just more worried more concerned that you're going to work yourself into the ground. Cause I do get this person wants to provide this person wants to protect and provide. And so they, they want, I just feel they're concerned, concerned for you. And I feel like it's, it's genuine. I actually feel like it's really sweet. All right. So I'm loving those messages there for you. All right. Let's see anything else. Any other advice we have for my Leos at this time? Yeah, I feel like this person's like a protector and a provider energy. That's what I get. And I don't think that they're intimidated by you doing well for yourself or anything like that. I just get that this person doesn't want you to overdo it. <laughs> All right. Like if you're working out too much or if you're, and again, it's not too much. You know, I just feel like this is this person's concerns that like you're, you know, working too much, working out too much, things like that. Um, take control of your own narrative, which I feel like my Leos are doing. And I love that. All right. 
and uh, every hurricane comes to an end. So I feel like, you know, the the tough times are over. And especially if this has been tough for you to be at a distance from this person, or you've been a little bit, you know, not you've been insecure about how this is going to turn out or unfold. Um, I feel like there's peace and calm on its way in. And how's that for a happy ending? So there might be there might be people who have doubted you here. There might have been people who who've doubted you or doubted that this connection could work or could come together. It's an against all the odds type situation, but I feel like this is, you know, this is going to prove any any naysayers wrong. And at the bottom of the deck here, we have surround yourself with love. So I do feel that's kind of what my Leos are doing right now. I feel like you're surrounded by people that love you, spending time with friends and family. Again, uh, doing you, focusing on your finances, focusing on your health. And it feels like in, in due time and probably sooner than expected, this person's going to be is going to be full on in your life, available, moving towards you. Um, so, yeah. All right. So I'm going to leave it here, Leos. I hope these messages resonate. If they do, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.